Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so this has been Vina Morales and her Eres song, mio. Eres Mio, which means you are mine. You're mine, but in the masculine. Yeah. So she's telling the guy... Or the man. You belong to me. You belong to me, dog. Yes, that's right. Um, Stop I, going around with Catherine. I think Catherine is a non-existing person. Disclaimer. Uh, it's a fictional character Ephra has made up throughout the years. Moving on. Not throughout the years. Throughout the years. You've, yeah. Anyways. We'll... Makes me sound like I'm crazy. What? Like my imaginary friend or something. <laughs> Catherine. She's, she's only existed nine months. <laughs> you know? No. Ever since the channel. Well, the channel it hasn't been for nine months. No, but ever since the... Ah, oh, well, fair enough, yeah. There you go. Anyway, so this is her song. I think it's in Tagalog, even though I don't actually know if that's the literal translation for for Tagalog to English. You're, you belong to me. Sounds like Spanish. Because it's like well, Spanish it's written phrase. perfectly in Spanish as well. I know. But I don't know. Go on. Let's have a look. It's in Wish! Bada bada. All Woohoo! It's very Hispanic like Sounds like Thalia, bro. It does! Paulina Rubio is in the house! Give me a beat. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, even call. Hey! Oh my god, what the? Tacum, tacum, Is Chayang gonna come out? <laughs> like... Reggaeton. Where is where is Chayanne, bro? Where is where is Enrique Iglesias? I know he's from Spain, uh, but like, what the hell? Enrique was a bit later on from this. I think Chayanne was probably probably this, the best example of that time of this of this music like yeah. era. But because then it evolved, I guess. Yeah, Enrique Iglesias is also a good example. Because it's very bizarre that Enrique garnered so much attention in South America before garnering so much fame and stardom in Spain. I have to be honest, this is literally... This why a, why today, am I back home? Today's what? recording session has been very mad. Very nostalgic. <laughs> it's been incredibly nostalgic. Yeah, regarding like In the such Filipino a music wild in way. The, the industry we've checked out. So. Wild. <laughs> My heart's not ready. Written lyrics. <laughs> From her album cover as well. That's freaking beautiful. I love that word, mangyari. Mangyari. You know what I feel? I feel she gives good hugs. I feel like she is wonderful. I would love to see her life. I feel like she gives good hugs and smells wonderful. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Most likely. You know like those women that have like that perfume? That, that just kind of lingers. No, when that you perfume that you press the, the uh, thing. A pumper. A pumper. I, I feel like she uses one of those. <laughs> it's like, oh, my darling. Like that. <laughs> Find the lyrics, bro! I will, later, later. What year was this? I don't know. 2018! And bro, what a vibe, that place. I have to visit, dog. Look at the vibe too. there, the lighting and shit. Well, you're like, like a, a food hole. Ooh, I it's love like food. It's like a food hole, right? Yeah, Super Bowl says there. It's, and like, there's another... Like, Picha Picha or something. <laughs> What the? Oh, apologies, it's probably like a really, really popular name. Was it? Yeah, I mean, it Maybe is. Does it say pollita? Pollita. Polita. No, it doesn't say pollita. O patita. What? Pachu pachu. Go. <laughs> <laughs> so it is in Spanish, is it? Could be Tagalog, bro. Oh, I thought she was gonna speak in Spanish. to say she likes singing <laughs> Post, you know it's funny so if, if you're a drummer right and you're a pop drummer in in america or anywhere in the world there's always going to be one genre you're going to play right or, or one one um one sort of rhythm four on the floor 
Dun 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 dun. Always, if you're in South America and you're a pop drummer, that's the that's that's your four on the floor. It's ding da 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 ding da. That's your four on the floor. But for some reason in America, it's ding ding da ding da ding da ding da ding da ding da ding. Or 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 like a pop track, ding da ding da ding. Like that, right? Yeah. But in America, it's always this. Yeah. So me listening to this. Yeah. It's always the same shit. Yeah. And then, and then, when you're a drummer, like in in in, and you do popular music, uh, or you tour with artists, that is essentially gonna be your everyday. Yeah, absolutely. Without a doubt. Uh, most definitely. And it's funny so though. So me because... listening to this just now, I was like, what the fuck? Oh my god, flashback memories. Yo, what the it's fuck? crazy. You know it's it's funny though, you know the uh, Foo Fighters drummer, they released like a track like six years ago and he was Foo like Foo Fighters. Yeah. Uh, the drummer of the Foo Fighters. He was like, I thought I came up with the most freaking revolutionary track for a pop like for a, a rhythm for a, for a a rock track and i was like yes i made this tune takun takun idea to it and i was like god damn i'm a genius i made up this freaking fantastic the song blows up in south america <laughs> and everybody's like look for fighters is making reggaeton and i was like what the hell is reggaeton <laughs> but, he, but he thought it's literally yeah. he thought he had made it up <laughs> he was like Dude, I felt like a genius in the studio. I was like, I made this up. Yeah, you literally, if you're a <laughs> drummer, made it, and you, if you make, if you're a drummer and you're on a band that they makes a hit and it's pop, it's gonna be four on the floor. Yeah. Always. You can make so much out of that four four. At least every popular artist, they will have a song like that in their repertoire. Oh, but they have to. Well, they just seem to. It just, it just, it just is what resonates with people. And especially people. nowadays, where they make music Case with closed. a producer, that's not thinking of a drummer. Oh yeah, I don't definitely. You know, I feel bad actually now for uh, you know, not for me, because I don't drum at that level at the moment of like touring with session these guys. Session drummer or anything? No, no, not even session drummer. Just like you know, people like Aaron Spears or, or mm -hmm. people that are actually touring with Ariana Grande and stuff like that. Um, Yeah, I feel a bit bad for them because sometimes when they fucking when they make the tracks in the in the studio, they never think of them. They're not even in the studio no, most no, of the no. time. They get called up. It's like, hey, we're gonna tour. We need a, you know, we need. Here's you. your track list. It's like, how the fuck do I make a clap sound that also sounds like an 808 with a? <laughs> eh. <laughs> it's like, eh. I don't have that yeah. instrument here. <laughs> like, That's funny. Yeah. I love this song. Ah, vaya cariño. What? Oh, quiero besarte y amarte. See, I knew she's oh gonna speak in Spanish. Oh my God, yes, girl. Oh, the song. I mean, this. Like, what? Because I understand <laughs> Kundiman. Why Kundiman, like that genre, became popularized. Obviously, mm -hmm. the Hispanic influence and things. Mm -hmm. But at this point, you know, this is 2001. Reggaeton is so... Uh, 2018. 2018. That, that, but that wasn't really... Is so worldwide. But that wasn't... In 2018, that's not a reggaeton that's popping. Well, it kind of was, because it was like Enrique Iglesias with his, vale, like, Gente de Zona. Vale, They no, do all no, this stuff. You're confused. No. That's four years ago, bro. Gente, mi gente. No, Gente de Zona. Gente, yeah, that's like seven, eight years ago, dog. Is that old? So my, that's what I mean. It seems to be not in that in that uh, frame of time. Mm -hmm. So my question is, there must have been an artist or several artists in the Philippine or music industry, or maybe artists that toured in the Philippines mm -hmm. that made such a stamp that then throughout the years and decades, oh, a see. genre like this, bole, not boleros, but like, uh, yeah, I guess. Reggaeton, Latin, re, Latin, Latin pop. pop. Latin pop, yeah. Would then be a genre in which you also hinted it with using Spanish words. I know that Talia became very popular. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. That I, all Drake I know. was very popular. In, in, the, in Philippines. the Philippines, really? Why? Wow, very interesting. I read about it. You guys told me and I was like, oh my God, yes. But Drake became popular. <laughs> Enrique Iglesias, I imagine it's very popular in the Philippines. Yeah. Sin Banderas is very popular in the Philippines. Okay, so that, that makes sense now. 
Yep. <laughs> Camila <laughs> was popular in in, in 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 the Philippines. I, some of you guys told me I was like, oh my god, what? So fun, so nice. fun. Well, let us know what you thought about it, and then maybe what, what else, else would you check out next? Yep. All right. <laughs>